Hey guys, welcome to Bar Z. My name's Stan, and we got something new to play with today. I just can't resist sometimes. Uh, picked up a small cordless, uh, it's kind of like a shop back, or a toolbox type back, and uh, it's a Milwaukee M18, and uh, we thought we'd give it a try. This is a bare tool, it's about a hundred bucks, not, it won't really break the bank. But the thing about a small vacuum is uh, a lot of times you've got just a little mess. You don't feel like dragging out the big uh, canister HEPA vac and plugging it in and dragging around uh, for just a little mess. You know, I got this for doing maybe inside of control panels, you know, getting some metal shavings up or if uh, you drill a hole in concrete, suck up the concrete dust, clean it up where you can maybe caulk it or, you know, or if you're, or if you're a painter or doing paint work, that would be good too. But uh, some of their claims to fame, let's read the back panel here. Powerful 18 volt motor delivers 57 watts, peak power, and 32 inches of water lift. So uh, that's pretty interesting. It's got a HEPA rated 99.7% high efficiency, wet and dry filter media. It does not say if it's cleanable or if, it, or if I have to replace it. So if I have to feed this thing HEPAs, I'm not gonna be too happy about that. Uh, Built-in blower provides 45 CFM of airflow for maximum efficiency. Uh, they make no mention of the runtime. We're going to check that. Two-gallon capacity reduces downtime due to emptying. So that'll be interesting to see uh, uh, how it how it dumps and how easily it dumps without making a mess. Stackable toolbox design for added portability and easier storage. It was kind of a toolbox-looking thing. I, I like that idea. So. You know, I can just pop it in the nap box and always have it. It's not terribly heavy, um, so it, for portability it's pretty good. And it says onboard accessory and hose storage, quick access to accessories. As long as your accessories and your hoses and all your stuff stores nicely and doesn't get torn off, lost, damaged, broken, I'm pretty happy about that. So let's uh, open the box and see what it looks like. country of origin. I'll give you uh, three guesses and the first two don't count. Uh, it's been my experience that if something that Milwaukee makes is made in the United States, they display it proudly right there with a giant American flag. They're going to play to your sense of patriotism as much as they can. That's just an empty box. Out of here. And we're bagged up pretty good. Bagged and taped. Operator's manual, bag of desiccant, do not eat. And it's got a toolbox handle, which is kind of cool. It does look like a toolbox. Stuffing, nothing in there, nothing in there. And uh, they do put a warning on here. This bag is not a toy. This is not a space helmet for Halloween. Uh, let's see here, they've got the top that opens, take a look at that, battery, battery compartment here, battery compartment here, it runs on the new 18 volt and the old 18 volt on off switch outside, so it's accessible inside and out, uh, it's got storage for your little crevasse tool. And a super sucker there. So that's uh, the outer. Let's take a look at the guts. See what this is all about. Oh, the whole sides. Okay. Let's see how that opens up. All right, there's your filter. Lock and unlock. Quarter turn. That looks expensive. Hopefully it's cleanable. It's not really a paper element. It's kind of a, it looks like a nylon element. But I bet you they don't give those away if you do uh, damage it or get it wet or something and destroy it. Uh, it's got the little ball so that if, it, if you start sucking water and it's gonna get up in the motor, it'll do a turn off. That's pretty cool. 
Just a little quick change uh, thing there. These things get nasty anyways. And then there's your storage for uh, your water and dust and dirt and all that. So that's the part you're going to dump. And I don't know how universal this is. It fits on fine that way. Let's reverse it, see how, uh, if it is universally uh, acceptable, which uh, it obviously is. So you can put it together left or right, it doesn't care. And it's probably what I don't like there is the hose storage outside. So here's my uh, vacuum hose. Uh, wow, yeah. So it's kind of extendable, pretty neat. Um, what I want to do, yeah, I'm not crazy about that storage at all. That's going to get lost. Maybe we can find a home port inside, inside the toolbox. Um, this is your port where you plug in your vac. It, uh, we got intake and exhaust so we can blow and suck. Like a fresh battery in this thing. I've got a uh, red lithium XC with four bars on it, four on the indicator. We're gonna plug it in, start it up, and uh, see how long it runs. I'm just—I'll bring you guys back. It is currently 11:30 a.m. So I'm gonna uh, plug this in, fire it up, and I'll bring you back when I hear this thing die. And we'll see. See, what, we'll, we're gonna check the run times. They don't claim any run time on the box. Well, before we get started uh, on the run time, I'm sure you guys all want to know, hey, how loud is this thing? Um, got a battery in it. We're getting ready to start our run time on it. And I'm just going to kind of talk through it and talk in this tone and uh, let, you, let you decide. Uh, so here we go. <laughs> minutes 25 seconds on a 5 amp hour battery so little cleaning fine nothing sustained that's for sure uh, while it was running down I went to a couple of websites I wanted to see how much that replacement filter was I found one website for $18.99 and I and that's an original equipment that's a genuine Milwaukee and then I found an aftermarket knockoff for $11.99 so if you want the OE it's going to be, uh, you know, 20 bucks plus to even to ship it to you and all that. So, uh, but 11.99 was the absolute best price I found for a generic. Okay, and here's a prime example of why you need a shop vac, a small one, portable one. Uh, we've got a little control panel here, and we've had to cut holes in the top for uh, conduit entries. We've had to create mounting holes to bolt it to the wall. And, uh, you know, it doesn't look like much on the outside. It's just flat and smooth. We've got a touch screen here. But does any of this look like something you'd want to get metal shavings in? Uh, you got a VFD over there. you got a bunch of motor starters. you got a PLC over here all filled up with green boards. And then backside of this touch screen, wide open. I'm looking right in a green board right there. So there's a lot of, a lot of components you don't want to get metal shavings in. And so we do a lot of protection, you know, if we're cutting holes in the top, we put in cardboard, let the metal shavings fall, uh, anything you can do, you know, and, and a shop back is wonderful. Uh, you have one guy cutting, uh, cutting the hole or drilling holes, and then another guy with a shop back on the other side just sucking up the chips as fast as you're making them. So uh, that's one of the main reasons I bought that, is just to uh, uh, have a way to get metal shavings out of uh, electrical control cabinets. All right, so uh, let's go see how it sucks up uh, some water and t test the performance against their claimed performance, see how they do, all right? Now, what they did say this had was a, uh, and this is one of their claims, they said it had a 38-inch 30 in, 30 uh, water head on it, so it'll, it should pull uh, water uphill 38 inches. I've got a two-gallon bucket down here on the 
table and uh, or a chair actually up to my table and I've got 30 to the center of this hose 33 inches right here so I'm uh, gonna test it two gallon bucket two gallon capacity I should be able to suck all that out into that uh, in that bottom chamber and uh, make this thing dry as a bone so let's see if it uh, does what it says it's gonna do let's suck up some water I do have the filter out of it uh, we're just I'll run on that ball right now, so let's uh, give it a try. It will pull water uphill per the specification. So we'll just dump this right back in there. All right. All right, guys, that's, uh, that's that. Let's do, go do some other practical cleaning head-to-head uh, -head with my uh, HEPAVAC. My big, uh, my, I got a big rigid uh, stainless steel HEPAVAC and clean up some metal shavings or something. Let's uh, go play with this a little bit more. Okay, well here's my old standby. And what I like about this one is this switch is concealed below this <laughs> operator. This is actually a pretty quiet back. <laughs> In comparison to this one. <laughs> so actually my old plug-in is quieter than uh, uh, this little battery powered one and this doesn't even have the muffler on it. There's no muffler on that exhaust at all But uh, this thing's always run really quiet and I did uh, this this does have the nice HEPA cartridge inside uh, Cleanable so I, I can actually clean this cartridge and uh, this has been a great vac I mean it's 16 gallon it holds a ton of uh, material and there's all kinds of nasty stuff down in there But uh, and you don't have to dump it very often. It's on a pretty handy little cart and uh, we just kind of bangs around the job site. But you know, if you gotta go up on a roof or something, or you know, somewhere that's not really handy, and uh, you know, to get a cord out and drag it out, it's sometimes a little inconvenient. So uh, that little fellow's good for that. The noise is definitely there. Uh, the runtime's okay. Let's uh, suck up some metal shavings. I mean, my... Uh, my vice has got all kinds of metal shavings around it. They've been cutting and drilling here this morning. So let's see what uh, what this noisemaker will do. So that's there. Let's uh, do one more thing. There's some uh, 5 16 uh, hex nuts. See how well it does on those. Let's do uh, uh, let's do bolts. There's a bin of bolts right there. All right, I'll just grab a handful real quick. There's some 5 16 pan head bolts. I think those will fit, fit in the hose. Yeah, they go in, not, maybe not sideways, but they should go in. Let's try it. <laughs> Alright, 
so it picks up bolts too. Ugh. Okay, let's wrap this thing up. Okay, well let's open it up and check our nuts and bolts. Get the hose off of there. And we got latches both sides like we uh, like I had talked about. So each side we got a latch. And then we just pull the top off. And there's all our hardware we sucked up. So it does in fact uh, pull up some pretty heavy stuff. There's your filter. I, um, I think I'm gonna store the hose down in here. Um, it's really kind of bugging me have the hose outside this is a really dumb place to hold a hose and expect this to live inside of a toolbox and bang around inside of a knack box or something so I think I'm just gonna store the hose down in the in the lower canister here and even even getting it shipped out you know and this kind of bugged me too look at this look at the hose see how it's got kind of a kink in it and it's permanent it won't that won't come out the way they had it stored in there they had it, they had it rolled over and kinked over really hard like that uh, just to ship it you know they had this thing kind of wadded up on here like that and then jammed down in the middle there and that kink was just from shipping right there so I kind of hate that that, a, that something brand new comes in and then your hose is kind of dorked up right out of the gate all right but it kind of does everything it says it's gonna do is it loud yes does it suck yes uh, for a hundred bucks great little tool if you're already on the Milwaukee system alright guys appreciate you watching hope you enjoyed the review